just started using GoodNotes and you're not super fond of the color palette that comes with the app and you want to update it and set up some aesthetic color palettes for yourself. So I'm gonna help you with that today. This is gonna be a really quick, easy video. I'm gonna show you how to update your color palettes. I'm gonna show you how to get hex codes from any image and upload them to GoodNotes. And I'm just gonna show you some basic tips on how to create aesthetic colorways for your notes or your planner. We'll have all of my hex codes that I use down below, all my exact ones. And today I'm gonna to show you live process of me recreating my whole color palette and just walking you through the process. So the first thing you wanna do is you obviously wanna make sure that your GoodNotes is updated. This is a recent feature within GoodNotes that you can have a nice color selection here of your choice of colors that you want. And here you have all of your presets that you choose and I will show you how to edit this in a little bit. Then you have, you know, your different custom colors here. So you have all of these, and then you also have your color wheel, so you can virtually get any color you would like. And then you have your history, which is your most recent colors that you've used. Going back to the presets, you can click in the upper left hand corner and you can remove the selected color slot or you can restore your color sets to the original. You can also click edit, which allows you to tap on a color and remove it from your palette. You can also hold and drag to move around colors so that you can put them in whatever order you would like. So for this video, I'm going to reset my color palette and we will remake it together. So you'll just click restore color sets to original and you'll hit okay. And you can see this is the original color palette that comes with good notes. It's fine, but it's not the best. So the first way that you can find aesthetic colors and pick is of course, just going through the color wheel and choosing colors. I, whenever I recreate my presets, all I do is I go to the color wheel and I usually like to get a nice pastel I don't go super light, I go like right around this range. And then I just add, I start with red, the reds, and I'll add and I'll go back and I'll move it to orange, add, move it yellow, add. And then maybe once I get here to like with the greens where it gets super neon, I'll bring it down a little bit just so that it's a little bit deeper. And I just work my way around the color wheel and keeping it in around the same spot allows me to have a bunch of colors within the same, I guess you would call it a hue. <laughs> Maybe that's the incorrect term, let me know below if I'm wrong, but it keeps it all around the same tone. So you're not getting anything too crazy. They're all cohesive because they're all around that same brightness, the same saturation. Another way is you can add in colors from whatever image you like. So you can go to Pinterest, you can go and search for color palettes. And Pinterest has tons of color palettes to choose from. So let's say I wanted to add this one. So all I have to do is swipe up from the bottom corner of my iPad and it will take a screenshot. So then you'll open up your little pen tool here and you will hit this little color button at the bottom. Tap that and then you'll hit eyedropper tool. And this will just go over any color on any page, any image that you have on your iPad. I grabbed this color, this nice violet color. And if you just go over to sliders, you will see you have here the hex code number. So you can just quickly copy that, open back up GoodNotes, hit plus, you add the color, go to your hex code, hit paste, as you can see that color pops up, you'll just hit add to presets. Oops, I just added way too many. You have that color all ready to go. And you can do this with full color palettes from Pinterest. You can scroll through Pinterest at your heart's delight. You can find all different kinds of color palettes to choose from, and you don't have to do it for the whole palette. Because for me, getting hex codes for every single color is a very tedious task for me personally. My ADHD brain cannot handle that. So I like to personally do the little color wheel trick where I just go around and add presets. It's super quick and you can get a nice base layer of some aesthetic colors. And then I like to go to Pinterest and 
If there is a color palette that really catches my eye and I just wanna add those particular colors to my palette, then I'll go ahead and add those via hex codes. Another tip I have to just get you started is to go to this page where you have already color presets already out right here. Like each of these is like a color palette in and of itself because once again, they're all around the same saturation and brightness. So once you have a bunch of the colors that you really enjoy, then you can just hold and drag to rearrange them. Maybe take out any repeats, colors that are very similar. Like these are so similar. So I can remove one of those. Now, all you have to do to get them to line up here is just tap on a color, tap whatever color you want it to be, just move down the line. And of course, you can also do this same exact process with your highlighters. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments if you guys want more just quick tutorials or quick tips like this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.